Okie dokie guys, uh, not one to follow uh, social media trends really, but uh, here we go. Alright, so this is the fanny pack from Tribute Custom Works. All right? If you guys are not familiar with Tribute Custom Works, you should absolutely check it out. Uh, he does a lot of really cool things in a lot of really cool fabrics. Uh, he's, you know, he's just one of those guys that just kind of explores with what he's doing. And it's super neat. Alright, so... Uh, this is his dangler fanny pack. Uh, I guess you could call it a sling bag, whatever you want it to be, uh, in Multicam Tropic. But you can customize these. He wanted me to point that out. Uh, I did pay for this one full price. Uh, you can customize it kind of however you want, right? If the size isn't quite right, you can ask him to bump up the size, I think. Don't get mad at me if he says no. Uh, you can add tourniquet hangers on here, uh, different Velcro configurations, whatever you want to do. I'm sure he's going to be happy to work with you. All right, so uh, with the trends seeming to be uh, concealed carry AR mags, I just wanted to kind of show you guys how that works. I apologize, I don't have any handcuffs on hand. But uh, you can see the, the AR mag is just a little bit tall uh, for a 30 round mag there. So that's not going to work out super great. Uh, however, it if you had like a like a kydex or elastic insert in there, it would retain it just fine. All right, so it has kind of half zips on the side, so you don't get a full clamshell there. Uh, but mine at least, and you can you can get yours done however you want. Has a loop front and back, uh, so you can put in organizers or holsters or whatever. I just wanted to uh, we'll get that nonsense out of there. Nobody can still carries an air bag. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show you guys. So there's enough. Uh, volume in here uh, that you can stick a 26, a Glock 26 standing upright. So if you had kind of a slimline elastic holster or a purpose-built Kydex holster, it'll fit upright, which I think gives you kind of a better draw than if you do kind of the more traditional like angled insert in there. But if you angle this thing, you can fit a uh, 19 in there pretty well. I had a, I got one with a 19 slide on it and that fit in there just fine. I could zip it up without uh, too many issues. All right. I just don't have a holster optimized for that. So it's kind of tricky to show it. All right. But that'll fit a, a 26 or 19 uh, vertical or uh, angled. Uh, if you're doing the 19, you're going to have to angle it if you want the thing to actually zip for you. And then on the front pocket or the front face, uh, mine does not have any elastic here. Just has a little zipper pocket. Uh, no stretch or anything like that, so kind of what you see is what you get. Uh, but it is a real nice size, uh, you know, looking at if we wanted a couple AR mags in there sideways, a bag of Skittles, bag of M&Ms, you could fit that in there without too much issue. Uh, you could put a full IFAC in there without any, any problems at all, whether you wanted that just sandwich bagged or tried to do the insert in there or something like that. Okay. Looking at the back face of this thing. It has uh, repair buckles on the, the webbing tabs there, so you can use it as a fanny pack if you want, or you can pull those out, off and flip up the Velcro panel here and use it as a dangler, uh, which is awesome. Big fan of uh, multi-purpose stuff like that. And then I think I pointed this out in the head-on tactical video, uh, but when you do the Velcro interface like this on these convertible bags, it also gives you kind of an added bonus uh, that you now have this Velcro sandwich and you can put things in there, uh, whether that be like a slim uh, fixed blade knife sheath or something, uh, and then you can retrieve that from the side. Uh, if you were really hung up on this concealing an AR mag thing, you could get, you know, like a Velcro backed AR pouch and do something like that. Uh, and that would keep your, your AR mag concealed. That way you could have like pistol and handcuffs and AR mag. Uh, and then you could get the, the tourniquet pulled around the bottom and you could have a tourniquet right there too on your fanny pack. So that's pretty neat. All right. uh, but all joking aside, uh, Tribute Custom Works does some really cool stuff. Uh, he does the shorts mods. Uh, so I think I've gotten three pairs of shorts from him. Does really nice work on those. I should actually do the, the DNC shorts he made me. Really nice work. Uh, cool guy to talk to. Seems like a real stand-up dude. Uh, plus he's just doing it to kind of offset some college costs, if I remember right. Uh, but really cool stuff. 
definitely check it out. Tribute Custom, Custom Works. I uh, appreciate your time, guys.